my name is Jessica and welcome to Make a Misfit. I have a Panic Solitaire update for you guys and I'm happy about this update. I think I've made some really good progress in a few of the shades, maybe more than one of the shades, but hey, I'll show you that when we get to it. But if you're not aware by now, I'm working on the Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde palette for this project and I'm loving it. I've mentioned it every update, so I apologize if I sound like a broken record, but I love it. What can I say? Um, also, the look that I have on my eyes today is from this palette. I did just film a palette bingo, which is going up on January 26th. So if you're curious to see what shades I chose, watch and stay tuned for that video. It is a collab with quite a few other lovely ladies. It was an idea started by Ruth Foley. So please go check her out along with everybody else who's going to be linked down in that description box for that video. I'm just so excited to see the combination, the shades and the combinations that everybody comes up with for this. And as soon as I had heard that this was the palette that Ruth wanted to do a palette bingo with, you know I jumped on that. And just the way the timing fell with filming this video, filming the palette bingo and getting them both posted, it's only days apart. So anything that you see in panning, no, anything that you see in palette bingo is not going to be a spoiler because even though I filmed that just before I'm filming this, this video is going up first. So there will be no spoilers and it's, it was fun. It was my first time doing a palette bingo. It was my first time doing a collab. It was a lot of fun. It was a little bit awkward for me, but we got through it. I got through it, made it through, and maybe I'll do another one in the future. But enough rambling about that video. This is about the progress that I have made on this Huda palette right here. So last update, I had started working on the last round of my trios. I think it's the third round, the third trio. I only had three shades left in this palette to hit pan on, which blew my mind. So this is what the palette is looking like. And the shades that I've been focusing on is Haze, Off Balance, and Vortex. And I'm sure you guys can see it from here, but Off Balance now has pan in it. And I'm so excited. I love that shade. I love using it in my crease, whether it's as a transition or just my crease shade. And I really have enjoyed wearing these three shades together. So let's start off with Haze here. This is the one that I have not been using as much as I would have liked to. I think I've used it about five times and I usually wear it in the inner corner. Um, I've tried it a couple of other ways, but it didn't really seem to work that well, at least for me, maybe it's just the shades that I was pairing it with or the other eyeshadows, but I really do like it as a little bit of a pop in the inner corner. I think it's super pretty that way. So that is probably how I will continue to use it. I might try it um, in other ways as well, but that's kind of just my go-to for that shade is in my inner corner. Um, off balance. I hit pan on this on the 19th use. Now, that may not seem like much, but I was using this shade quite a lot prior to actually rolling it and focusing in on it. So I want to say that it's pretty close to the amount of uses that it took to get Hot Mess and Utopia. <laughs> I was blanking on the name there. These shades took like high 30s, low 40 usage. I want to say this was like 44. So even though this only took 19 uses of me actually like counting usage on it, because I don't count usage if it's not a shade I'm focusing on, I want to say it probably took about the same amount as these two, which is kind of incredible to think about because these other mats didn't take me that long. They were in the 20s, which is totally cool. So I really thought that this shade would be similar, but it wasn't. And that's fine too. There was... I think it was the last single that I was working on and I was pairing this shade with that a lot and I had seen how big the dip was and I told myself I wanted to stop using it because I didn't want to hit pan on it before I actually focused in on it and I could have continued to use it and I probably still wouldn't have hit pan on it before I had my chance to actually focus on it. It would have cut down the number of uses that it took but in the end, it is what it is. I'm not worried about it. I'm happy. I actually hit pan on that first, so I'm really excited about it. And then next is Vortex. Now, I have not used this as much as I used Off Balance, but I have used it more than Haze. And I want to say this is sitting around the 10 or 11 use mark. I can't quite remember at the moment. Um, and there is no dip in it yet, 
but I do use my fluffy brush and because this is a deeper shade that's how I intend to continue to use this is with a fluffy brush now with that I find that it's a shade I can blend out and build up and it's still not going to be too intense for me there has been days where I've built it up and built it up and built it up but I've blended it out enough and it blends out nicely enough where it doesn't feel like it's so dramatic because I'm not a fan of those deep dark mattes in the outer corner like it's just for my eyes it makes them look too small so I was a little nervous about using this shade but once I dipped into it the first couple of times I managed to figure out that I can blend it out enough to make it still look like it's there but it's not too intense I was really excited and I'm actually surprised that I've used this more than I've used Haze. I knew using Haze was going to be a little bit of a challenge, but I knew that Vortex, I was kind of dreading it to be honest. And I was happy that I rolled it in at the very, very end. Um, but I am still surprised that I have more use on Vortex than I do on Haze. And honestly, there was a day, I don't think I did it, but there was a day I was tempted to just, I would start with the other corner and kind of work my way in. And I almost just left using Vortex I mean, in my outer corner and then just popping something over the lid and only using those. I didn't do that, but I could have because of how light it ended up looking for me. Um, but as I said, I do build this up so that it gets a little bit of depth, but not it's not too intense so this is where i'm sitting at with the palette i only have those last two shades left to hit pan on i'm really hoping that i can kind of focus in and hit pan on these two shades by the next update i do have a couple of other eyeshadow focused um projects that i'm working on now and i did just roll a couple of eyeshadows into a couple of other prompt projects so maybe i shouldn't have done that but it is what it is um, this palette is not eligible for panning, pan those eyeshadows or project level up. I'm blanking on all of the names today. Um, so even though I know I'm going to hit pan in this last two shades and have pan in every shade in this palette be like sooner than later on in the year, I'm not going to, it's not eligible for the, those products. What for those projects? Whatever I have written out as of, I think it was like the 1st of January is what's eligible. Anything that has come into my collection after that is not eligible, but I can throw this into a project later on if it's like a prompt project, if I feel. So I might just do that because I do want to take a break from this once I finish it and like hit pan in the last two shades, but I do want to continue to use this because I would love to completely finish off this palette one day that would just be magical but as soon as I hit pan in the last two shades I will take a little bit of a break from this also I'm going to mention now um depending on when I hit pan in these last two shades I am going to end this project and I will be starting it all over again with a brand new palette but I'm going to take about a month in between so say I do hit pan on these two shades in February I'm not going to start my new palette in February I'll start it in March so I'm still gonna have like the monthly updates but I'm not gonna make myself focus on the new palette right away I will have my intro in March or April or whenever it may be so stay tuned if you are curious because I am just loving this so so much I know I sound like a broken record with this but it is what it is I love it so there we go so again, if you are curious and want to see this eye look and want to see what I've used in this eye look, we do have the palette bingo. It is January 26th that will be going up and I will have all of the ladies who are included linked in the description of that video so you can go check out their looks as well. I'm really excited to see what everybody comes up with and I was so happy that Ruth had come up with the idea, especially for that palette because like I said, that palette I knew I had to jump on. So that is everything. I have two shades left. Hopefully I can do that by the next update. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I do want to just mention very quickly that even though I mentioned it in my um, palette bingo video, I did just hit 200 subscribers the other day on, it was the 19th of January actually. And I just am like so like mind blown because <laughs> it's
because it is 200 people more than I thought would ever watch my stuff. So I thank you guys so, so much. I appreciate you, everybody who has been here from the beginning, who is a consistent watcher, or anybody who is new. I really do appreciate everything. Um, thank you for all of the support. So that is it for this video. I will see you guys all later. Bye.